Hello, my name is William, and I wanted to talk today about how you can work on multiple merge requests using GitLab at the same time. Uh, and so this is where today I was just uh, doing some work using uh, both my local dev environment and GitLab's web IDE. And I thought, this is such a nice workflow. Uh, I love what's going on with the web IDE here. I thought, hey, I'll just record a quick video to show all of you what I'm doing and how I use it. Uh, and maybe somebody else can find it helpful as well. So I'll just go ahead and share my screen uh, for a moment and show you an MR that I am currently working on. Uh, so here's a merge request to add Jenkins content to our comparison page. And uh, I have checked out this branch locally and I have it here in my Atom editor where I've been doing some work by uh, updating features.yaml and this uh, markdown file and this Haml file. And so in these files, these are all related to this one MR where I'm, uh, I'm essentially doing some work and doing an update. And the use case here is I want one branch to do my development work, but I also want to document the process that I'm going through. So I created another merge request for the documentation. Now, I really, really don't want this all in one merge request uh, because I don't necessarily want to block, like I don't want to block on shipping the development work if the docs aren't done. Uh, I want to be able to get it live and, and to iterate and for people to see and provide feedback. Um, so I really want these things to be separated so I can get individual feedback on each component. Um, you know, for example, if the instructions are, are clear, whatnot. So uh, in this use case where you're doing one bit of development work on, on one branch or one part of your code base, and then likely if you're then documenting what you're doing in the process for how to do that is in, is in a separate place. So here is my MR for the, uh, for the documentation changes, and here I am using the web IDE. Um, so here is my other branch. So I'm essentially working on two Git branches at the same time. Uh, almost, in, you know, you're basically using two different editors. And what's pretty cool about this is uh, with the web IDE, you could just open it in different tabs and work on multiple branches at the same time. Uh, so here are my instructions for how to update the uh, comparison page. You know, for example, open this file and edit this. So as I've been making changes here and committing them to, to this MR, I have also been simultaneously updating what I've been doing and, and documenting it uh, in the GitLab handbook. Uh, so I'll just uh, finish this up. The last thing I want to show is I have an example here of uh, adding a feature that GitLab has that a competitor or another tool does not have. But I want to be sure to add an example of something that uh, a competitor has. For example, uh, like Puppet has a domain-specific language for uh, infrastructure configuration. And that's something that is true for another tool, but it's actually false for GitLab. And so for us, it's important that our uh, comparisons are transparent and honest. Just update some formatting here. Uh, Add this one in like this. And so uh, now I have the work that I've done in one branch and the documentation and the instructions in one branch. And here I can commit locally and, uh, and push up on the one MR. And here I can make commits in the uh, you know, added instructions on features GitLab does not have and I can commit to that branch. So I hope you all found this uh, video fun and <laughs> entertaining. Just wanted to share with you how I use both my local dev environment and the GitLab Web IDE to work on two Git branches at the same time that are uh, pushing changes to two different merge requests at the same time. Uh, and I thought that was pretty fun. So hope you all have a great day.